This video is sponsored by Luminar Neo. As photographers, most of us spend more time in front of our computers editing photos than behind the camera taking images. But those times might just be behind us thanks to programs like Luminar Neo and its advanced AI technology. Let's start off working on a few photos. This photo here of Diana is one that I took a few years ago at Red Rock Canyon. If you wanna see how it was taken, you can watch the video linked at the end of this video. Now, the day that we went out to shoot, the skies weren't really doing very much, but with Luminar Neo, we can add a lot of depth and drama to this image, like you're seeing in this before and after shot. And it can be done quick and easy. Here's the starting point for this image, and we'll start off in the Enhance section and increase the accent to around 35. That looks pretty good, and next we'll change out the sky. There are a bunch of skies that are preloaded in Luminar Neo, and you could even add your own skies into the library and use those in your images. For this image, I like the look of Dramatic Sunset 7, but it needs some adjustments to make it fit better with this image. We'll adjust the sky by defocusing it to around 69 or 70. Next, we'll adjust the warmth and bring that down to negative 48 and bring the brightness to 66. Next, we'll go to the Develop tab and ever so slightly bump up the exposure to 0.18 and increase the Smart Contrast to 11. Since we lit these photos with an off-camera flash, you could see the modifier peeking its way into the corner of the frame. Now, I could easily just crop this out, but the Erase tool in Luminar Neo does a great job at removing objects like this. Using the Erase tool, we'll just brush over the softbox, and there you go, it's gone. Over in the Structure AI tab, I'll increase the amount to 12 and boost to 44. This is really adding some nice detail to the image and amping up the dramatic look that I want without going too far overboard. Now we head over to what might be my favorite feature in Luminar Neo, and that's the Relight AI tab. This is something that I would use on every one of my portraits, especially the ones where I'm shooting underexposed to save the highlight details in the image. In this image, we aren't going to use it as much, but we're just gonna bring the background near to 17. That's looking good, and now we could do a quick adjustment to the image to bring Diana's face out of the image a little bit more. Over on the Face AI tab, we'll just boost up the face light to around 40. And now with her face being a bit brighter, your eyes will be drawn to it first, since there is a lot going on in this image overall. Now we'll go over to the Mood section and add a preset. For this image, I really like the Santa Barbara look, but it needs some adjustments to make it right for this specific shot. I'll bring the amount down to 14 and increase the contrast to 41. With the image nearly done, we'll go to the color harmony section and bring the warmth to 41. And then over in the color balance section, we'll adjust the shadows a bit. Just the slight bump here in the magenta green slider to one and the yellow blue slider to 13. This is the before, and this is the after. For this image, you can see that it doesn't take much to get a portrait like this looking awesome. With the recent updates to Luminar Neo, they've added some really helpful AI-driven features such as dust removal AI, power line removal AI, AI masking, and check this out. They've also got portrait background removal AI where you could easily take the backgrounds out of your images. For me as a YouTuber, this really comes in handy when I'm creating thumbnails, and you can even create layers to fine tune your work. Before we jump into the next photo, I wanted to let you know that with the folks at Skyloom sponsoring this video, you could save $10 at checkout. Use the link in the description and use the code KEYLESS at checkout to save. Okay, let's work on our next image here, which was a photo of Masumi that was taken in New York a few years ago. This image is a great example for how powerful the new Relight AI tool can be for portraits. Starting off in the Relight AI tab, we'll adjust the near settings to 57, far to negative 41, and depth to around 94. Then in the Advanced tab, we'll bring the D-Halo to 100, and warm far slider to four. Now the overall exposure is looking really nice, but we could do better. Over in the Enhance AI tab, we'll bring the accent to 67, then head over to the Structure AI tab and bring that amount to around 37. 
Just like we did in the first photo, we're going to bring up the exposure of Masumi's face since the image is quite a bit busy as well. As a portrait photographer, I want the face to be the primary focal point of my work, and we could do that easily using the Face AI tab. Here, we'll bring the face light slider up to 24, and that looks great. Now we'll go to the Mood tab, and after testing out some different settings, I really liked how the candlelight preset looked. And here we'll just bump the contrast to 30, and that looks great. In the Color tab, we'll go to Remove Color Cast and bring that to 24. And finally, in the Develop tab, we'll go to the Color section and reduce the temperature to negative 23. Here's the before and after before and after, and again, quick and easy editing using Luminar Neo. I've got another image here that I took a few years ago at Red Rock Canyon, this time with Savvy. I'll start off in the Relight AI tab to make some adjustments here to the near, bringing that up to 80. The brightness far, we'll bring that to around 37, and the depth to 41. If I do the before and after on this photo, you could see that it basically just lifted the exposure on Savvy so that you could see her a little bit better. Now we'll head over to the advanced section and we'll adjust the warmth near to 14 and the warmth far to 13. Since we took these photos during golden hour in the morning, it starts to bring this warmth and this golden hour glow to the portrait. Now that we're off to a great start here, we'll go to the enhanced section and we'll bring the accent up to about 66 looks good. And now, just like the last photo, we're gonna go to the Face AI tab and boost the light on Savvy's face. We'll adjust the face light to around 29. That looks good. And then we'll make some more adjustments to bring out her eyes in this portrait. We're gonna leave the iris visibility on 80 and we're gonna start playing with this iris flare. So I'm gonna bring it up kinda of high, bring it up to around maybe 75. And that just adds a little bit of a glint to her eyes, which is looking really, really nice. We'll leave enlarged eyes as it is. We'll take the eye whitening part here and we'll bring that up to 61. And then we'll head over to eye enhancer. Here we'll bring this up to about 19. There's no red eyes in this shot, so we'll leave that as is. We'll move on to dark circles removal. She doesn't really have any dark circles, but I'll bring this up just a tiny bit just to see how it looks. We'll bring this up actually to about 47, and uh, we'll back out here. And that actually looks pretty good. Now, last but not least, we'll go to improve eyebrows. She has great eyebrows, so it's not like it's improving them in that sense but what it's gonna do is add a little bit of contrast to the eyebrows. So I actually love using this in my portraits. I'm gonna bring it to about 83, and that looks really good. That's bringing a lot of contrast into the eyebrows. If we back out of the image, um, it just kind of brings everything out of the shadows and just makes it look really, really nice. To bring all of these adjustments together, we'll go into the mood section and apply the Palm Springs preset. Like last time, we'll make a few adjustments, bringing the amount to 24, contrast to eight, and saturation to eight. Now let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the before, and there's the after. Again, before, after. You can see we've brought her out of the shadows and it was super easy to do all of this using Luminar Neo. Super easy to get those professional looking results and you could see that if I wasn't talking through this entire process, it's really quick and easy to do it. Thanks for watching and if you wanna see the photo shoots that these images were created from, I've added them here on screen. Check them out, leave a like before you head out if you enjoyed watching my editing process and don't forget to check out Luminar Neo and use my code to save some money. I'll see you in the next video.